Okay. Okay, five minutes on the clock. Here's everything you need to know if you want to travel like Damon and Joe. Five minutes, let's do it. Right. There are three websites that Damon and Joe use all the time every single flight. We got Skyscanner. We got StudentUniverse.com. And JetRadar. Okay, all of these three sites you need to look on with an incognito window so that Private people browsing can track mode. your cookies so that you're guaranteed the cheapest possible prices. We've been using Skyscanner for years, so much so that we even emailed them to partner with them and now you can book flights on our website. Shut up and go to travel slash flight. Skyscanner has this option where you can plug in your home airport and in the destination you plug in the everywhere feature. Which means if you're flexible, you can get a list of the cheapest destinations to go all over the world like in country. your country like, in the cities that are cheaper student universe is good for anyone under 26 or if you're a student or if you're a professor you get special rates because you're young and you beautiful and even if you're not under 26 and if you're not a student you could still book it aka damon okay <laughs> and jet, jet radar. radar jet radar is that site that'll give you these ridiculously long layovers but the cheapest prices next taking a flight is not the only way you can take mega bus you can take greyhound bus you can take bolt bus and if you book so far in advance you might even score a bus ticket for a dollar round trip. Okay, no, I'm exactly One way. One way. Like two dollars round trip. Accommodation. Airbnbs will give you sometimes weekly discounts, monthly discounts, so if you're staying for a long time, check Airbnb. Also, if you're traveling in groups, that's the best way because it'll end up being a lot cheaper to get a room, an apartment, than just like to buy hostel beds. A hostel is a place where you book a bed in a room. So yes, you're technically sleeping with other strangers in the room, but these strangers are cool ass people. Think of like, we're staying in the right. room with you. You'd rather spend your money on other things. Right, and they always host free events like pub crawls and concerts or whatever. So if you're traveling solo, hostels are probably your best bet and the cheapest bet. If you if you're a little bit more upscale and you need to stay in a hotel, check hotel tonight. Some of y'all might be watching this like, oh, y'all are travel vloggers. Like, of course y'all can travel the world. That ain't true. We were Damon and Joe traveling before Damon and Joe on YouTube traveling. You can be a flight attendant. You can be an English teacher abroad. You can be an au pair. You could be a volunteer at a hostel. One House time, sitter. Damon actually reached out to a hostel to see if he could volunteer in exchange for a bed, and they let him. I randomly worked at the bar of a hostel in exchange for accommodation, which ended up being cheaper than my lifestyle here in the United States. Right, so we have options here with jobs. I taught English once in Italy to sleep in a family's home. If you just want to travel, but you don't know what you want to do, you're willing to do whatever, go to helpx.net, look at the country you want to go to, and there'll be a job for you. Or woofing, which is where you work in the natural agriculture in like on a farm. country. I, I still want to do that. Me too. Like, and for free accommodation in like Sweden? Or you could be a study abroad advisor for a study abroad program abroad. That was my literal backup plan. If YouTube didn't work out, I was going to be working for John Cabot University of oh, Rome as their study abroad I quit. I want a new job. You got options. Money. Money! Money management, my Yo, favorite topic. Chase Sapphire. By the way, this is not a sponsored video, but None of this we is are sponsored. This is like telling you our, our like, gift, gift to you. you. Like, y'all need to know. Like, okay. we can help out. So, we just had up and go. Chase Sapphire is our favorite travel card because, one, there are no international transaction fees. Two, every time you spend money on travel or dining at restaurants, you get two times the points. Oh. There's really no point in using cash ever because you might as well get points for right. what Just make sure to pay your credit card off. Right. If you're looking for another option for a credit card, look at airline credit cards. So a lot of them, like American Airlines, will have American Airlines Citibank Advantage card, which anytime you spend money, you'll get points towards American Airlines Frequent Flyer Program, which means just by spending regular money, all of a sudden you're upgraded and you get free bags and you get access to lounges because you're partnered with their credit card. Some of them will give you free global entry, which includes TSA pre-check, so you zoom through security lines. Never even used that for like the first five years. We just got that this year. So stupid. Next! Frequent flyer miles. Okay, there are three main alliances and there's like 20 airline partners in each. It's super confusing. Find the alliance with the most amount of partners that you travel with. Well, for like five years, we didn't even do it. We didn't even do it and it's stupid. We didn't stupid. track anything. We were like, why are we gonna track her? I've won so many different we're airlines. Just take the cheapest one. You get perks like free baggage, like lounge access, just for flying with those alliance partners. Make sure to pick an alliance. Join now, it's always free. They're gonna give you some spammy number. Every single time you fly on that airline or with one of their alliance partners, you get miles for flying. I used to have a frequent flyer number for American Airlines and British Airways, and I would do them, but they're both in the same alliance, so I was doing myself a disservice. Right, you could have just used the American Airlines number and on British Airways on American Airlines so that. Every Too much for fly. five minutes. Anyway, and that's it. Time. Whoa. We know who understood stuff. Did you guys even understand that? Don't forget to click in the description box below if what we said was a little too fast. It was We've... way too fast, but guess what? There's a replay button. I know. There's a replay button and a blog that has all of these links. If you're subscribed to us, you probably already knew a lot of these things. And if you're not subscribed to us, welcome to the family. Welcome. And don't forget to book flights on our site. Show us some love. That's all we have for you today. I'm Joe. And I'm Damon. And we're Damon, Damon and, and Joe. Joe. And we'll see, see you ya. next time. Au revoir. 
No, no, you say it. It's your, it's your idea, honey. Five minutes is so short. Too short. We have to do this in 20 